This was such a weird movie. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm John Stark from MacTheMovieGuy.com, and this is my review of The Box Trolls. Um, this has audio description and is currently on Netflix. So I'm a blind film critic, and uh, this is what I do. I talk about films that have audio description and whether or not they work. And uh, we're going to talk about The Box Trolls. I've never seen it. I didn't see it when it came out in theaters. It actually came out when I still had vision. So I had the opportunity to see it. I kind of remember seeing like a making of featurette. It's a stop, I know it's stop motion. Um, and, uh, and the little work that went into it, but I never really, I think I saw some previews and it just never really grabbed me. Um, and I kind of get why. Like now I saw it and I know that for some people that this is like, artistically brilliant and um i've I have a feeling sometimes of stop motion that part of it part of it is the is the beauty of the stop motion uh when you strip that away and you actually just have a film sometimes stop motion films are a little weirder than traditional anime animation films um it's a lot easier i find i've found so far to sit down and take a traditional animation at face value than it is to take uh, um, a stop motion film at face value because they they really want to use their medium you know there's usually something like kind of uh, creepy or gothic or or um, uh, quirky offbeat uh, there's there's a reason why they've chosen it you know, there's, there's a reason why there isn't a stop motion equivalent of Frozen, you know, <laughs> there's a reason why that doesn't exist. So, um, with the box trolls, it's, it's a really, it's a really hard film for me to, to describe. Um, there are box trolls and there's, uh, I don't know, they live and they exist and they sort of have their own little uh, way of speaking and they're they're being captured. Uh, I guess people have, have heard that box trolls are, are terrible things that will like eat your face. Um, and uh, so there's a, you know, a service that rounds them up. Uh, but as we, as the movie moves on, we find out that actually, no, they're not terrible, they're adorable, and uh, they're just goofy, and uh, they don't quite understand human interaction, but they try. They keep trying to hand humans bugs to eat, uh, which, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> and they have a kid named Eggs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, and, uh, he, in this, uh, in this scene, uh, we, you know, we, we find out his backstory, but, uh, basically he's, he wasn't, he wasn't taken. He is, he was, uh, rescued by the box trolls. We'll, we'll go with that. We're res rescued by the box trolls. And so he's been living amongst them like fucking Mowgli or something. And, um... <laughs> So, and then all of a sudden we meet, like, the least likable person in the face of the planet, played by Elle Fanning, who's like this, um, I don't even know, she's like this child that is, that has grown up indoors, and is, has, does not know what human interaction is, um, and she's just, like, whiny and nasty until she's not, until her character is just like, oh. Never mind then. I'm sorry. <laughs> she just kind of like has like a like the light, like you know light turns on and she's like, well, I'm a different person now because I've been touched by the box trolls. <laughs> let's go. Let's go save them. <laughs> um, and yeah, and this film kind of just moves forward from there. I don't like. I don't want to ruin the film, so I'm not going to do that. This film has an interesting voice cast beyond Elle Fanning. Um, I definitely heard Jared Harris, uh, in here, so. I feel like people want to say I loved it, I didn't love it. 
Um, I, I don't know. It's at the beginning, I was just, I spent so much time going, what is this? What is the plot? What is the story? Give me plot, give me story. And at the, at, at, I feel like I was being immersed in this world with little to no explanation. And I didn't really get explanation until like the second act of the film. The film's not very long. It's a, it's a kid's film. So I think it's gonna bore some children, especially little ones. Um, and it's it's potentially even a little uh, scarier for little ones too. I don't know. I, I mean, uh, you, you know, I there's some kids out there that are watching Saw when they're five years old. So who the f knows what your kid is scared for anymore? Parents suck. So you know they're like, watch Saw, you'll be fine. <laughs> you know. Um, but. Yeah, it's just I don't I don't know I don't know what this one we're gonna do to, for kids. I it's so hard to predict this. Uh, the box trolls could be quirky and adorable, and it could all be like Fraggle Rock, and yay, or it could be just boring and slightly creepy and weird. Uh, it walks a really fine line. Um, it like it's. Like it saw what Tim Burton was doing and it was like, ooh, I could do that. And then it tries to do it and it just, I don't know. I just was so underwhelmed by this film. Um, this is kind of what I wanted to do too, was talk more about, I made a pledge at the beginning of 2023 because I've watched so many shitty films just for the sake of watching them uh, that were just 2022 releases of checking off boxes and trying to get to a really high amount of 2023 titles. 2022 titles. And I was like, 2023, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to ask myself, do I want to see this? Do I actually want, does anybody actually want to see this film? And I feel like I can cut off at least 20 titles that, that you know, that I never would have watched for any other reason other than the fact that some streaming service released them. They didn't even have cast members in it that I knew or wanted to watch. So I was like, I want to watch more films that I haven't seen or more films that I have seen and be able to talk about them and do reviews of audio description. Lo and behold, I land out on the, the box trolls. Um, it just came up in Netflix and I was, I had time. I'm like, yeah, I haven't seen that. It got good reviews. I just, um, I don't know. I think it might, might be my least favorite stop motion Film. I, I don't know if that's true. I really actually didn't care for Paranorman, to be honest. Um, so this is kind of down there with Paranorman. It might be a little bit better than Paranorman, actually. Because I really didn't like Paranorman. Um, surprise. Uh, so, this is probably hovering around how I felt about Tim Burton's uh, stop-action remake of Frank and Weenie. Where I was, like under, I was just underwhelmed. Uh, I don't know that it's bad. I don't know that I hate it. Um, I, I wouldn't go out of my way to say, don't watch that. I just have nothing really here to, to leap up and, and say, Ooh, this was really good. Or I loved this, or this was really cool. Or this was really creative. Or I really like this. I think the film in, in itself is creative. Sure. Um, but you have to be a little bit more than that. Like your creativity has to kind of come, come through. And for me, it just didn't go anywhere it, it was just it was just a creative film and it, it thought it, that was enough and there was no the story just didn't grab me um the characters were kind of obnoxious um it didn't help that the one that the characters that I did like uh were just box trolls that didn't speak and they just kept trying to hand people bugs and I wanted to know more about them I really did um the audio description tries but it's so hard. Uh, they all have their own names, and they're all ridiculous names, like eggs. Um, I think there's one that's like fish, and they're just named like things. Um, they don't really have great names, but um, I wanted to know more, and I think that's the really frustrating thing, is that I didn't get to really uh, get up in that box troll world, like... I want to say with like the Smurfs, where you get to know all of the different Smurfs, you know, uh, you Brainy Smurf and Vanity Smurf and 
and Smurfettes and uh, God, I'm gonna have to name more Smurfs. Um, but you get my point. Uh, you, you 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 actually start getting introduced to all the different Smurfs along the way, and you feel like you know the difference between them and their, their quirky personalities. Here, I literally just know them as the box trolls. I couldn't pick up on discernible personalities between any of the things, the most interesting things in the film. So instead, I had adults, humans, that were not very interesting. So, um, yeah, and I, I, it could be the structure, it could be uh, the way the film is, is structured, it could maybe be the audio description I had a hard time picking out and differentiating the differences between these box trolls. I don't know. Um, I have a feeling it's probably the first thing where the film didn't bother to necessarily uh, give them all such unique personalities. Um, and it's per it's a personality thing, too, by the way. Um, trolls tries to get away with it by making everybody look different so that you're judged by your exterior, which is a really odd message to send to children. <laughs> is that it, it, what's on the outside that counts. <laughs> because we're always telling people it's what's on the inside that counts. And with the Smurfs, they all inhibit, like, uh, exhibit a, a, a personality trait. Um, they're either smart, they're strong, they're um, funny, they're whatever. They, they, they all have a thing uh, that they are. Um, but it's, it's not necessarily their looks. Uh, it's... You know, but with um, with trolls, it is they they don't have discernible personalities. Uh, they're not. It's not about who they are on the inside; it's about who they are on the outside, and that's what the whole first film is about. <sighs> I didn't like trolls, um, and so the box trolls, I could have, you know, could have done a really good job with uh, it, make, giving us the exploration of these really interesting characters. And uh, instead, we got more time with humans. I get plenty of time with humans. I click on a film about the box trolls. <laughs> so, um, anyway. So that's it. That's my review. I'm sorry, I didn't like this. Um, it's not, not my favorite film of the year. It's also definitely not terrible. I just, I don't know. I couldn't, I can't really recommend it. So... I'm going to give Box Trolls a C-. minus. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and uh, I hope to do more of this and review more films that I've never seen before and also talk about some films that I have seen before so that way I can really tell you whether or not the audio description works. Here I'm just making a guess. It's my first time through the Box Trolls. So... Um, I'd much rather do this than watch movies like Happy... Uh, ever after happy or whatever oh my god that uh, just or um love accidentally <laughs> just, uh films like that i just do not need to see anymore in my life so yeah uh i also have a website macmovieguy.com you can go to the audio description project adp.acb.org and let you know what has audio description where you can watch it and you can go to the adna.org, that's the adna.org, it'll let you know who's narrating your favorite films and television series. That's it. Uh, I will review something else for you, and see you guys on the other side.